So honestly, this is a video I didn't think I would have to make, but given what I experienced at IchibaCon this year, I think people need a refresher on some con manners and common sense when it comes to these kind of events. So I have a list here of eight different things uh, that you would think would be commonplace and people wouldn't, you know, need to know, but let's go over this and that way you can spread this around if you got someone that you think might need a refresh or, or make awareness of this. Here's some eight rules that they can easily follow. First one's very obvious. Don't be a jerk. Now I know some people it's kind of hard, but let me give you my example. When we were leaving the con on that Sunday, we were, the elevator was full, it was like seven people and there were, everyone had their luggage, everyone had stuff they were taking back to the car. We stopped on two or three floors and each one, it got worse and worse with the person. The first one's like, all right, there's room. We're like, no, there's no room. We're full. We're kind of on top of each other. He's like, no, there's room and started yelling as the door started shut. Second person started getting an attitude with us and blaming it on us saying it was our fault the elevator was full they we should have left room for them a whole nine thing they turned into a big karen i didn't even get to see this person because i was like here's the wall here's the elevator door right here i'm like right here i couldn't see it then the third floor was the same thing people were blaming on us saying it's our fault that you know we're taking up all the space they should have made room for the same thing why you don't need to do that it's it's sunday what you could do the night before while everyone's still partying or when things are getting a little wind down at two o'clock three o'clock in the morning where people are done drinking and getting done at the rave you can take stuff down like i did that night when everyone was winding down around 11 o'clock midnight i took a bunch of my luggage down i instead of my the only thing i had left was my you know my clothes and the bag carrying my clothes i took everything else down so that way i can just leave sunday with no issue don't be a jerk uh be nice to people it helps the con experience and makes it a lot better. You might make some friends. Don't be a jerk. The second one, patience is key. That also involves the elevator thing. But when you're going around the dealer's room floor, it's busy, especially in smaller cons. It might be a little bit shoulder to shoulder, but if people are moving, don't get an attitude and start yelling at people because you want to look at that $20 figure over there while they're actually trying to buy stuff. Don't try and push people out of the way. I saw people trying to push people, yelling at people because they couldn't get to their little figure. Come on guys, like being nice goes a long way and being patient goes a long way it's okay things are not going to be flying off the shelf and if they are they most likely have backstop patience is a virtue and it's a very good life lesson for a lot of people that don't apparently understand that so remember be patient especially when it comes to cons or doing going to deal with panels or you know people asking questions and stuff be patient it's okay to wait a couple seconds number three which is going to sound really weird don't dance in the middle of the road it sounds very weird hear me out when we were walking back and forth in ichiban there are ways to block like people going in and out there's a way in there's a way out there was a guy dressed as a star lord literally dancing on the way in it's literally about maybe about two people wide he's sitting there dancing in the middle of it blocking traffic just doing his own thing blasting music at the top of the lawn i understand being in character but move it up a couple feet at least don't stand in the middle of the way, blocking people, making it inconvenient for people, just so you can dance and, you know, try to get photos and get people into... Look, man, I get it. Vibes hit you. You gotta dance, you gotta dance. But don't do it in the middle of the traffic. Go, go do things. I saw someone now saying in the road. I mean that literally. There was someone dancing out in the middle road in traffic too. I don't know if it was for TikTok or what, but come... Please don't dance in the middle of the road. Use that head of yours. You got it on your shoulders? Just use your head on yours. Head on your shoulders. It's okay, like I said, to get in the character, to get there to dance, do whatever you need to do. Just don't do it blocking people and inconveniencing literally everyone else in the convention. This one is obvious. There's plenty of photos everywhere. But consent is key. Just because they're your favorite character and in your head can and they are in love with you doesn't mean it's the same way in, in real life. They don't know you 99.999% of the time they don't know you and never knew you exist it doesn't mean you can go up there and start touching them it doesn't mean you can start harassing them consent is key ask for pictures just because if they're dressed in a bathing suit or something along those lines like summer wear or any like nighttime gear stuff like that doesn't mean you can just go up and do things consent is key and i'm just gonna leave it at that and uh if you want to go to jail just don't follow that rule they hey look the county jail has a bed and three square meals a day for you if you really don't want to follow that rule number five don't be a drunken mess now i get it nighttime 
drinks start flowing, especially if they got remote satellite bars and all mixed out, I get it. Pace yourself. And if you start getting a little too drunk, or if your friends start getting drunk, pull them aside, give them water, let them sit down for a little bit, give them some snacks so the alcohol can be absorbed into the body and be soaked up a little bit so they can sober up a little bit. There was a concert going on. The Bit Brigade was there performing. There were two guys being a drunken mess up front trying to start a mosh pit, and they almost destroyed $15,000 of equipment because they, they thought it would be funny and cool to do these said things. Guys, please, handle, try to pace yourself, and I get it. You start party and the drinks start flowing i get that but don't be a don't be a jerks. Don't be assholes. Refer to rule number one. Don't be a jerk. And don't destroy equipment for the ha-has, okay? All I ask, chill, it's cool, calm, collected. I get it. I like to get drunk once in a while. I, I drink with my friends. We sit there, start shooting, you know, shooting shots. Like, talk, not shooting shots. Like, talking junk, start reminiscing, telling stories. Drinks start flowing, it happens. But that doesn't give you permission to go be a drunken mess. Go start trying to destroy property or do anything of that nature. There's plenty of stories I have from Ichiban Khan. One of my favorite ones is... After after a fire alarm was pulled my first year, we came back in. This drunk guy refused to stop drinking and stop harassing people. There was five cops dragging him, his drunken mess out of the hotel. Don't be that guy. If you want to be that guy, like I said, county lockup, three meals a day, bed and cot. They got you. Number six, treat the hotel and event staff with respect. This is a simple story. And I think it gets the point across. Me and my editor were walking back, talking, planning some stuff out. Talk, you know, just catch up because we didn't see each other for the rest of the whole day. And as we're walking by, there was a staff member struggling with this trash bag. And in the trash can, someone stuffed full boxes, not broken up or anything, full boxes in the trash can, which got it stuck. It was just a smaller lady, smaller than me, thinner than me, trying to pull it out. Everyone was looking at her like she was an alien. She was doing something weird. They refused to stop and help. What did me and my editor do? We stopped. We held the trash can down while we, she was trying to get it out. And we helped pull the bag out. Simple. Do not be an, do not have an attitude with event staff, hotel staff, or anything like that. They are doing their jobs. They are trying to keep us safe. They're trying to provide entertainment in some cases. Amenities. Water. A lot of places offer free water and people get angry with that because they don't meet their diet. How do you not meet dietary? Be nice to the event staff. They are doing their job. They are paid to be there. They are trying to make it a, a lot better for you be nice number seven cosplay does not mean crime is okay and i say this the deadpool people people who still dress up as deadpool they go and they do <laughs> they break rule number four they break rule number one they they just think oh i'm deadpool i can do whatever i want when i'm in this cosplay one of the best examples is a guy was dressed up as deadpool and tried to like pretend stole stuff from vendors no that's not okay because ha 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 i'm deadpool i'm gonna go steal no, that is not okay. Just because you see people like P. Diddy and st doing stuff like that online, those are, they have consent. They, you know, talked with the people around them, said, hey, we're about to film. You know, everyone's aware of the situation going on. Just because you go, hoo, 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 and go do it, that, that, that's not okay. And there's a lot of places and other cons where people have done that, they immediately have gotten arrested. Like I said, county jail good option for you cosplay does not mean crime is okay and just because you're deadpool or any one of those mischievous people does not mean you can break consent and does not mean you can be a jerk number eight if you have this if you do this it can prevent all these other things use common sense that's it very simple use common sense help those if you see someone struggling help them out don't steal don't violate people you know going and touching them and doing all that stuff ask permission be nice wait your turn a lot of these things could be prevented we just use common sense so i i'm sorry if this turned into a, like a little rant video but this was something that people need to know people need to discuss people need to be re reminded of oh uh, one thing i do want to mention that i put, didn't put it up here kind of goes with the common sense thing there was a girl i went to a panel and the girl started we were outside waiting in line to go into this panel and she started blasting her music like at the top, like she had a little beat speaker and it was blasting it and she was screeching at the top of her lungs. While we're waiting in line going all the way into the panel, don't do that. I get having music play. People have music playing all the time. All right, cool. Keep it at a moderate level. Don't have it blasting people's ears off and don't be screeching or singing or whatever when people are sitting there waiting just to get inside and you just you keep hollering. Just please don't. That's, that's one of those common sense things. Please don't. So let me know what you guys think. If, there, if there's any rules that you think other people need to know, let me know down in the comments below. Share this around. Hit, throw these uh, like places where cons, or, you know, the con pages, all that stuff. Just let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>